H.R. McMaster graduated from West Point in 1984 and rose to the rank of Lieutenant General, commanding forces in Iraq and Afghanistan before retiring in 2018. He was National Security Advisor to President Donald Trump from March 2017 to April 2018. A month later, Trump pulled the U.S. out of the deal with Iran signed under the Obama administration. The agreement restricted Iran's nuclear program in exchange for lifting some international sanctions. I spoke to the general about the decision and his former boss. So tell me a little bit about this lecture series that you're going to be doing at ODU. Empathetic foreign policy? <laughs> so so the, the, uh, the theme will be that it's very important to, to view complex challenges and opportunities that we face internationally from the perspective of others. And that includes, you know, rivals, adversaries, and, and enemies. And uh, when you don't do that, you fall into to a, a number of potential cognitive traps that diminish your strategic competence. So strategic empathy is a term that I borrow from the historian Zachary Shore. And I use strategic empathy as the antidote to a, a concept that I describe in, in the book Battlegrounds, of, of of strategic narcissism, our tendency to view the world only in relation to us. You know, dovetailing off of that, though, um, around the time that you were national security advisor for for Donald Trump, he ended the uh, the Iranian nuclear deal. The its nuclear program seems to be uh, reinvigorated, reengaged. Was it a mistake to end that deal? I don't think so. You know what what I, what I was trying to do as national security advisor is to convince. The president to keep his options open and then to ask the Europe, our European allies and others uh, to impose sanctions on the Iranian regime that lay outside of the nuclear deal, including the missile program, which was prohibited under a UN Security Council resolution, and they continued to violate, uh, as well as, this, again, the four decade plus long proxy war against Israel, the United States, and their Arab neighbors. I, I mean, we gave uh, the Europeans a shot at joining us, and they didn't do it. So I, I think that because of the flaws in the deal, leaving it was fine. Hey, you know, if you if if the Obama administration wanted the deal to stick, make it a treaty, you know, try for Senate ratification. I did want to ask you about uh, your former boss, uh, President Trump. He's now leading by a wide margin in the uh, Republican primary polls. Do you think he should be president again? Well, I mean, that's for the American people to decide. And I think what the American people ought to consider are a few things. Uh, does does the president take seriously uh, his or her oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States? And I think that Americans are free, obviously, to look at the at the historical record with President Trump, uh, and in particular uh, his effort to inspire, uh, at, at, the, at the least, uh, an assault on the first branch of government. That doesn't sound like, you know, supporting uh, and defending the Constitution to me. Uh, does does the president uh, have an agenda for the American people, or is it more of a personal uh, agenda? And of course, you know, President Trump uh, actually tapped in uh, to to a growing discontent among ma many Americans who wanted Washington disrupted. I think that that saying that that President Trump is disruptive is not a criticism. I think that's actually good. But he was he was so disruptive that he disrupted himself and 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 his ability. Uh, to accomplish even his his own agenda. General H.R. McMaster, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate this. Thanks, Steve. H.R. McMaster is scheduled to speak Wednesday, October 18th at Old Dominion University.